well, better make the most of it. And smiling at people, he began signing his way through a sea of napkins, showing that he was a decent bloke after all, not just an ultra-famous rock star wanker. All eyes were on him now, fascinated by his slow process, as if iPhones were raised when he stopped in front of another old lady who was handing him a greasy napkin to sign. Sullivan stared down at the old crone face. Uh, pleased to meet you, he said. What's your name? Eunice, it's me birthday, shouted the old lady. Oh, lovely, said Sullivan. How old are you? Hundred and fucking six, the old lady croaked back. Can't I have your jacket? Well, of course, said Sullivan. It's your birthday. Here you go. He slipped out of the Jean Paul and handed it to her. Yeah, have a drink, said the old lady. And she pushed a glass of champagne into his hand. Get it down, yeah. Go on. Now, aware that the whole restaurant was watching him and expecting a bit of rock star stuff, he raised his glass and bowed to the goggle-eyed ensemble and said, OK, well, here's to your health, and slugged the whole glass down in one gulp. A small cheer went up around the restaurant. Seeing an opportunity, the restaurant management seized the moment and turned off the sea songs by Elgar, cranked up the speaker system and let rip with She's Everything, his latest hit single. And the entire place burst into applause. Now, stripped off his black leather jacket, which revealed he was wearing only a tawdry Lemmy's Motorhead t-shirt underneath, Sullivan continued inching his way through the tables in pure rock star agony. <laughs>